Hi, Pim. How's it going? Um, I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, also, also quite, uh, quite good. Um, well, let me start uh, with what is actually due. Um, congratulations, congratulations for your offer from uh, your target firm, McKinsey. So, um, if I'm correct, you will be joining the firm in uh, the Bangkok office, uh, Bangkok office, right? Yep. Cool. So, uh, do you already know when you will start? Yes, so first and foremost, thank you very much. In my start, that will be around June or July, but the exact that will be announced later closer to the date here. Okay, next year. So, so next year in summer, right? Okay, cool. So you still have uh, quite some time uh, to get, uh, yeah, to get uh, acquainted with the thought that you'll become a consultant. <laughs> so um, how did you actually uh, get the, the happy news from the firm? I mean, did they call you the same day of the, of the final round or did you have to wait for a couple of days? How, how was it in your case? So yes, it was exactly the same day of my final round in tools and I finished my final round in the morning and then they told me the result in the late evening and mm -hmm. I'm glad that I didn't literally like, have to wait for so long because I was very excited like waiting for the results here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how did it feel? I mean, did you have a good feeling or were you very, very worried or uh, how did it feel emotionally? Um, yep, yeah, so I, I think it was kind of really like quick that I know the results. So I didn't expect that it will come like actually the same day like of my final round. So I was still like very excited. Like I still remember like everything that went during like the interview process here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were thinking through it. Okay, could I have done it differently, etc. Right? The the classical, yeah. <laughs> the classical train of thought. Cool. Yeah. So, um, I know um, in the preparation you have put really a great amount of, of diligence, of work, right? You've continuously um, yeah, addressed the, the crucial areas that were important until you reached that level of rigor, clearness, stability, consistency that is required for being successful. So um, could you maybe speak a little bit about your entire journey of preparation? So maybe even starting from before when we, when we started working together. So what have been the major challenges that you saw and what has then driven your decision to reach out for professional, uh, uh, yeah, professional help for your preparation? Yep. So during the beginning, like I actually have done some like mock cases and read some case book and also like watch some videos on the internet. But then, however, I still faced a challenge during the beginning that I wanted to know how to and we really like structure a case in a rigorous way rather than just memorizing popular frameworks and then apply it to every single case that have like actually the same type. But then I here try to look at like other sources from like the online website. I came across a website called Prep Launch and here's yeah. the place I saw your profile. File, as well as your guidance, your comments and posts on many things that regarding like case and tools. And for example, your comments around like the rigorous way of logical thinking on how to really structure a case and many, many other topics that you reply to other people, which really matches with the area that I wanted to work on and seek some advice. So I found these content very useful and then I reach out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So then let's talk maybe a little bit on how we prepared, right, to get you ready for the offer. So because, yes, you mentioned it. I mean, uh, uh, contrary to maybe what is uh, uh, what is uh, very, very widespread in the in the mainstream case resource, uh, resources and also on YouTube, what we have established was a very, very robust uh, methodical grounding on which you could then build a much stronger and more rigorous way of addressing case questions and also a uh, personal experience questions right so if you reflect back um, what would you say how has this more mature approach and uh, the independence from specific frameworks helped you to be successful then in your process of McKinsey interviews that's a good question and I think it's really like important to be independent from memorizing frameworks and and say approach a case in a like a more rigorous way because when you figure out like the logical way of thinking it can really be applied to any case like and rather than using like a predefined set of frameworks or set of like the words that you memorize and to solve it so no matter what the objective of the case is or what industry the case company is in for example like popular ones would be like market entry acquisition like that we can actually apply the same logical thinking skills and by not narrowing down like the key question into the criteria and running like the required analysis to really taste it out and prove the question here. So I think it's really important to have like this kind of skill rather than like memorizing those frameworks here. 
Yeah, yeah, and 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 then it was probably also good for your for your confidence, right? Because you you didn't have to hope. Hopefully, I get a question that I already know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? I need to. <laughs> so, um, but uh, besides the the uh, preparation for the cases, we also digged pretty deep into the the personal experience interview, which is pretty specific um, at McKinsey. So, um, if you think about this specifically, um, how important was this also uh, to really spend a lot of time preparing and polishing your stories? Sure, sure. I think actually fit stories or PI story for McKinsey is not really less than important than the case part because most people might put like a more focus on case, but I actually think that it's really important to make sure that we can also um, do well in the PEI pass as well because it's a part that helps you demonstrate like three of the four qualities that they look for which are like personal impact, entrepreneurial drive and also inclusive leadership here and mm -hmm. apart from these three um, qualities I think PEI is also normally held at the very beginning of the interview right so even yeah. before the case part and that's why I think it's a good way to really establish like a good first impression and also like yes. a good mood and tone for the whole interview afterwards here. Yes, yes. You're touching on a very important point, right? Because at the end of the day, all these interviews, they are also humans, right? And uh, if the if the first part of the interview is already great, right? And if the if the candidate has great stories, then of course the interviewer also, let's say, has more motivation to make the candidate successful in the case. Yes. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, now, I know um, that uh, there are actually quite a couple of uh, folks from uh, the Southeast uh, Asia region who are also following the videos and posts that I release from time to time. So um, for people who are uh, just planning to interview with McKinsey, maybe specifically in Bangkok um, or maybe even neighbor markets, um, would you have any maybe tips or hints that are particularly relevant uh, for your region? Sure. So this is just like from my own view, like my opinion. I would say that the tips for those who are in Southeast Asia are not really totally are not like different from other parts of the world because the way that they assess the candidates are actually the same. And McKinsey is very, very transparent about this. In the website, they clearly show what are the four qualities they expect to see and they look for in a candidate, which are like the PI that I mentioned earlier and also uh, problem solving skills, right? And yeah. in the first three. PI are mainly as I said during like the fit part of the interview where you have to select your best stories and profit in a storytelling way and then um, deliver it to your interviewer. And the last skill, which is problem solving, is mainly shown during like the case into a part. So here I think it's important to really familiarize yourself with how to approach a case in a rigorous way and practice it over and over again using mock into sessions. And in each session, I think try to like learn the most from the feedback that you get and improve in the next session. So just to make sure that you will not repeat the same mistake and you can also like keep enhancing your strengths while like tackling your own weakness like over and over again until you yep. like are more and then to go into the intro. Yeah, I would say that would be like my advice here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks a lot. Um, and actually, uh, actually, uh, thanks a lot for this great chat, uh, Pim. Um, congratulations again, right? You're about to enter an absolutely incredible organization. And I'm sure that uh, once you start next year, this will just be uh, also the start of an amazing professional career for you. So uh, all the best for that. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.